Hi Year 9, I'm going to give you a bit of a helping hand with today's task, um, so if you want to use this video to help you out then please do. Um, what you've got to do is you've got to work your way up this uh, kind of uh, stack of triangles, uh, work out some missing lengths and eventually get to the one at the top up there. Okay, um, so to do it you need Pythagoras' theorem uh, that we've been looking at recently. Um, for each of the triangles, but you've got to make sure you kind of separate these triangles out in your head or, or maybe draw them separately um, to help you kind of not get confused with the stuff around it. So I'm going to get you started. I'll try and maybe get up to this pink one here and then you're going to uh, finish it off for me. So um, let's look at the one right at the bottom. You've got uh, this six by eight uh, triangle and make sure you look at where the right angle goes, right? If you see where the right angle is, you then know what the longest side is because it's the one opposite, yeah, the one that doesn't touch it up here. So, um, I'm just going to plug in my pad, and we'll get started. So, we've got 6 and 8. They're the short sides, and then remember, um, Pythagoras' theorem says um, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And then this one is the longest side. Okay. It doesn't matter which one you call A and B, um, as long as they're the ones that go together, and this one's the longest one. So, let's put in the numbers that we know, shall we? So, 6 and 8 are the short sides. Okay. Now, if you square and add these things together, you get 36 plus 64 is C squared. Uh, but then what's this? This is 100. So, this C squared is 100. But then um, to figure out what C is, you need to square root, right? So because it's what squares to make 100, so C is 10. I'll write over here. Okay, so the side that goes from here to here is worth 10. Okay, uh, right, so that's going to help us get up to the next bit. Okay, but then um, if you want to use the um, yellow triangle... Uh, let's uh, let's draw it out again, actually, this yellow triangle. So it goes kind of like that, and then like that, and then like that. Ooh. Try again. Okay, that's this one here, this yellow one. Uh, so we've got 10 from there to there. Um, I need to know how far it is, though, from here to here. Now to do that, I'm going to need to add and subtract some of these kind of overlapping lengths. So I've got two less on long there, so I can take off two from my ten. Uh, but then I need to add this five on. So this one, this side down here, is ten uh, minus the two, this one, but plus the five, this one. Okay, and if you do that, that's going to be thirteen. So that side's worth thirteen, uh, this side's worth five. And what we can do with that is we can work out this side that goes from here to there we go. Okay, so this one's the one we don't know. Let's call it um, A because it's one of the shorter sides, so I need to call it A or B. Then we can put things in. So A squared plus, and then it'll be 5 squared equals 13 squared. Okay, now what I can do is I can subtract these squares because the two small squares add up to the big one. So a squared is, this number is 169. This number, 5 squared is 25. Take them away, and you get 144. And then square root that, a is 12. Okay, so that means that <clears throat> this length here is 12. From there to there. Okay, and then um, if I want to use the pink triangle, I can add 5, right? If I add 5, then the whole thing then is worth 17. Okay, so it's 17 by 8, and then you can work out this length up there, from there to there. Okay, so hopefully that's going to get you started. Um, if there's any more problems, then drop me an email and I'll get back to you. All right, best of luck.